God bless you. I am Prophetess Lewis from Good Noise Radio Station coming to you live from Illinois Entertainment. Amen. I have another other in the house with me than Pastor Shirley Crawford. And Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Sh Prophet. Okay. And fivefold, but God has graced me to have a shepherd's heart. So. Amen. I'm amen. Excited. Amen. Tell us a little bit about yourself before. Let us introduce. My uh, mentor over there first. Yes, yes. How y'all? Marcus Kelly. How you guys doing out there in the radio world? We're here on Good Noise Radio. Be sure to tune in to Good Noise Radio uh, to hear the show later on. And we're going to also broadcast it live on YouTube and our website, which is www.illnoiseent.com. So we're going to give that information to you also at the end. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bless you, Kwanzaa. Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Amen, amen. God bless each and every one of you out there in Radio Land. This is Prophetess Lewis once again coming to you live from Good Noise Entertainment. Amen. Just happy to be in the house trying to get Good Noise up and going again. Amen. Have a chili on the side. Uh, Prophet, Prophet, Prophet in the house. Amen. She has so many titles we all do part of the five-fold ministry that is what we do we have so many titles amen i'm just happy to be able to come to you live we want to talk about the jezebel spirit on today we want to talk about how it's running rampant in the church and we already know that uh jezebel died over a thousand years ago but it's still running rapid in the church god bless you old Shara. i was getting ready to say that yeah we I, in, I went to a conference on yesterday and they talked about the Jezebel spirit, unmasking the Jezebel spirit, spirit which was awesome. Which, which was awesome, amen. It was a great topic that's not talked about in the body of Christ. So we're going to touch on some things today. We're going to touch on some things uh, concerning the Jezebel spirit. Amen. Woman of God, would you like to have words? Yes, uh, first, can we just pray? Um, yes. Understanding. Father God, we just thank you for allowing us to come before your people live, Father God, and also on the air to just give a clarity and understanding of the spirit of Jezebel and maybe the insight that God has given us and even maybe the times that he tried to attach itself to us. So Father, we ask for insight, clarity, and understanding as we go forth in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just wanted to say, first I'll give praise to God, thank him for my sis here who invited uh, me to come on. And just uh, when she asked me, we didn't know when the day or the time, but God has been saying, be ready at all times. So I'm just excited about it today. Um, when we talk about the spirit of Jezebel, my first thought is I've heard the people say, well, it's a woman. No. <laughs> it's the red lipstick. Um, it's the attire. No. Jezebel can be a man as well. Yes. So, so those are the first things that I've always heard people say. So maybe we, the distinguishing of the, the uh, Jezebel spirit is why we don't really recognize or know when it's, it's present. So that's, that's my first step on the Jezebel spirit, just talking about it. Okay, so the Jezebel spirit, um, Jezebel is a daughter of King Ethabel. And she called herself a prophetess. And when I began to dig a little bit deeper, the search began to tell me that there was a variety of opinions about the constitutes as Jezebel's spirit. It's everything from sexual looseness in a woman to the teaching of false doctrine. It says by man or woman. So it could wow. be a man or a woman. It's not just a woman. It's not just her appearance. Jezebel come in all type of forms. That's what people don't realize on today. It's all type of forms that Jezebel comes in. I have encountered this spirit a lot of times. Amen. And, and once you are up under that control, that spirit, it's kind of hard to break away. It's kind of hard to break away. Yeah, because I've been there. I've been there. And I see so many women that are tied up today. And we're talking about another form. I'm talking about the man, you know, operating in a Jezebel spirit. I've seen it. I've been around it. Yes. So, so when you say it could be a man as well, mm -hmm. as I was studying it, Ahab mm -hmm. is the connection mm -hmm. to the Jezebel spirit. And as I was studying it, he married Jezebel. So that's where it was actually originated from, through a marriage. Right. That's what brought it more looking like it was from the woman. 
But Ahab himself went into a disobedience because my spirit picked up that Jezebel was a believer, mm -hmm. a saved. So therefore the spirit changed because the church is the bride. So right. therefore that's where the spirit was originated from, from a marriage. It wasn't able to fulfill the duty of Christ. So therefore the spirit of Jezebel is, was a, an agreement through Ahab to marry a spirit that birthed Jezebel, a controlling spirit. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just from a, just, I want to say a natural thing. It was an evil thing that birthed out a spiritual thing to run a church. That's why it's in the church. Ahab is a leader himself, have to be very careful, ah, God, I thank you, have to be very careful who they connect with to birth a church, mm -hmm. to minister a church. And we're going to talk about why is it running prevalent in the church. We're getting back to the original foundation of husband and wife. Ephesians 5 talks about the church. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if the, the man is the one supposed to give the word to the woman to wash, and if his spirit is not in the right standard and he connected with something that is not even wrong to be washed, mm -hmm. therefore that creates something. It creates that, that spirit, that Jezebelic spirit. Well, I, I know I was uh, talking to prophetess yesterday about this, and uh, when she brought it up, and I was like, that's going to be a good subject to touch on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember uh, in the teachings that it was speaking about uh, the woman with the Jezebel spirit. Uh, it was saying the instance where one lady was, uh, her husband left to go to work, or went off to wow. go do some business. And um, and while he was gone away, she dolled herself up. She threw on perfume, fine linens, and bracelets and ankle, like anklets and stuff and made herself look real good, real good and stood at the window and every man that passed by she was like hey won't you come up and lay with me my husband gone away he won't be back for a few weeks won't you come up and lay won't you come up and let's have fun you know what he won't know won't hurt him type of syndrome and when it's when i start to think about that and let that set in my spirit and i was like now how could the jezebel spirit run rampant in the in the house of god and so I thought about it. I said, what the woman was doing, she was not being faithful. Mm -hmm. She wasn't being loyal to her husband. And sometimes we get that in our system. We're not being faithful and loyal to God. When we're in, inside the church house, we start, we start speaking of things that we hear other people talk about. But we got to make sure that we're doing God's duty. And they got to make sure that we're connected to him. And everything that we should be saying shouldn't be on our own cognizance. It should be coming directly from God on our hearts. So that your heart can touch someone else's heart. That's the only way you'll be able to do it. Sometimes we get so full of ourselves and our, our titles wow. and stuff that we, mm -hmm. we start to get outside of God's work. And that's something like a Jezebel spirit. We're so busy competing against others well, and wondering what other people are doing that we're getting out, we're getting out of the, the will of God. And that's, the, that's how the church gets the Jezebel spirit because everybody's now jealous of each other. Everybody's trying to outdo each other. Everybody has, well, I have more word than you, or what make you, so now it's not about God, it's about you. Right. You know, so that's what I feel from this message that, 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 it, that it's trying to reach, not only in the church, but through all homes and through all relationships. Get out of that selfish mindset. Get out of thinking about myself and I'm better than anyone. I can, I'm, I can do it all by myself, God. And, and, and that because That's a spirit. That, it does. I can do it all by myself. I can do yeah. it by myself because God says you can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who gives you the power to do it. When right. you can't do it, I'm carrying you. So you can't even say that you do it on your own. Right. Now you can say that if God will, it'll be done. And that's all should be done. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. You know, and so just to uh, talk about the Jezebel spirit, I think we have a lot of that going on throughout our families and stuff because we're not loyal, you know, to each wow. other anymore like we used to be. You know, we're not loyal to each other. Some things can happen. You can grow up with someone and that same person that you grew up with and told all your secrets would use those secrets against ah. you. Some people these days will get right next to you just so they can have something to talk about. They Before you finish talking to them, they're ready to go tell the next person in their own words what you said. They don't want to tell. No one wants to speak the truth anymore. I'm saying it so bad. People can actually see the truth, see a situation happen in their face, but they want to go tell it the way that they want it to be. Wow. Yeah. 
to, to get that clout. To, to get that clout. To get that, oh yeah, she got the juice, but it just makes it makes it a mess. You're like a busybody, you're spreading mess, and God hates that. He don't want you in the church disrupting the church. Everybody's supposed to be there with their minds and eyes set on the Lord. But we can't do that when Sister Gloria is spreading mess. You know, yes. or Brother Johnson is trying to be better than Deacon. Mm -hmm. You know, it just it goes on so much to where we have to control. We have to really think about ourselves and say, okay, look, I'm getting out of church and I'm getting into the human. Because God don't act like this. God, God is not a, uh, he, he don't, he don't um, battle and put people against each other, you know. And um, it, 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 he's not going to put pastor against pastor or deacon against deacon no. because you're all on the same no, team. No. We're all on the same team. Yeah. Yes. If we're not on the same accord, then somebody's teaching wrong. Mm -hmm. That goes to that scripture, Amos 3 and 3. How can two walk together unless they agree? Yes. And even as you're speaking, it hit my spirit. If we don't get back, you know, there will be competition. There will be jealousy. There will be all of that. If we don't get back to the purpose, mm -hmm. soul winning, kingdom. Yes. Yes. Uh, but it has to be that I have a heart for God. Yes. She has a heart for God, an intimacy, yes. the relationship. Now, yes. it said we have to know who's with us, yes. who's amongst us. Yes. And if we don't, we deceive ourselves. Yes. So yes. I believe even in that, he said, let the we. <laughs> Let the wheat and the turn grow together. Yes. And so therefore, when you recognize that spirit, mm. how do we handle it? Mm. And thank you, Lord. The recognizing first comes, am I carrying a Jezebel spirit? Am I? Let me deal yeah, with myself first. Step exam myself. And then I can help the others. Yes. Let me sweep around my so own front door. Once he deals with you. Then you don't then have to worry about the other person because they're going to see the change in you and they're going to want that. And so when you recognize it, mm. how do we handle it? You don't pet Jezebel because when, when you, God deals with You address with, her. When he deals with me, whatever whatever spirit could have come up on me, he chastises those that he loves. Yeah. So how do how we thank you? How are we gonna handle it? Because it's here. That's when you gotta put That's, on your big draw. You're not getting milk anymore. You're getting meat. Because he's sending the prophets out. Mm -hmm. He's sending the alarm out. Yeah. It is being sounded. Yes. Are we hearing it? My children hear my voice. So the sound is being put out there. But and it is time. It, it has to be torn down. Yes, yes. It's just it's time for a recognition. People <laughs> have to realize what they're up against. The Jezebel spirit has been running wild for a long time. You know, and so now what Prophet is, uh, Lewis is doing is she's letting people recognize that this has been going on and she's addressing it. And sometimes you just got to stand up and tell Satan, I ain't going to take it no more. You know, it's <laughs> over. You know, but about. a lot of times you can't recognize that spirit when you're up under its control. Well, I have seen yes, it in yes, the church. Yes, I yes. have been there. Yes, and yes. that's why I'm, I'm here today exposing this thing. I have seen it run rapid in the church. I have seen the male just dominant over the women wow. in the church wow. where you can see as a prophet who's sleeping with who wow. and who's going on with who. Wow. Yeah, you can see these things, but when you're up under that spell, you cannot see that. And, they, they, and a lot of a lot nasty. of them know the man of God is not rocking. And they yeah. will sit there. Yeah. Why? Because they are in competition yes. with the other women trying to see who's gonna because win. It's not about God anymore. They it's they about who's gonna get the pastor right. now. Or who got the I best dress or the best shoes on or who looked the best, who pastor gonna like. I've been seeing this a lot, you know, because I, it's not just only it's in a lot of churches, you know. Some of the younger deacons come in, you know, and they they, they have this fire and they want to be on fire for the for the Lord, and you know, but they they jump ahead of the boat and a lot of these pastors put them out there in the water before it's their time right. and they get out there and they're preaching and they're feeling good about themselves and mm -hmm. these other lonely sisters are out there mm -hmm. and they're you know consulting them and next thing you know you can consult this sister and you can consult that sister and now these sisters mad at each other and you with another sister and, consult I'm, another, and I'm, I'm coming from experience yes. with this thing right yes, here yes. when it comes to this Jezebel spirit because I once again I've seen it in the church wow. I've seen it operate I've seen it try to wow. come at me I've seen it try to destroy me. And that's what Jezebel did back then. She tried to destroy all the prophets. And remember, Obadiah was the one that he started 
tithe in the prophets. He took a yeah. hundred prophets and he divided them into fifty and took them into the cave. And that's yeah. why I say it's time for the prophets to come out of the cave yes. now. Yes. And what they tried to do, they tried to destroy me to yes. keep me from talking. But, you know, but the I devil, would no longer be silent. Satan, I would no he, longer he be wants silent. to shush you. He yes. wants you to be yes. silent. Because yes. You have to understand that, that you know God has something for you. Yes. God is opening up doors for you. You know, he's opening up windows and they're not going to be able to be shut. But shocked. my heart goes out to these women that are sitting up under these Jezebels and, yes. and it's yes. like they don't see yes. it because they're in competition trying to win. You know? And you don't does. even see what's before you. Yes. So that I, my heart is just bleeding for the women. It has been that way for a while. And some women, you cannot tell anything because they're so up under that spell. And a lot of times we think that it's God moving well, when, when they think it's the apostolic moving. Well, you gotta, no. Uh, uh, some people are operating in a different spirit now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You got to understand, though, a lot of things that we're going through, people are emotional. People are emotional. And, 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 they, and they are needy. They want to be loved. They want to be held. They want to be told, you're doing a good job. They want to get a pat on the back, you know. But we're warriors for God. You know, we don't have to be told we're doing, you're That's doing right. a good job. Know who you know, you are. We, we already know who we are for know God. Who you are. And when you know who you are for God, you know who God is, you don't have to be in competition. Right. When you know who loves you, you're getting the ultimate love. You don't have to look for love from no one else. Right. You don't have to compete with Sister Johnson for Brother uh, Caleb or something. You don't have to co compete with your brother for another sister. It's it's not about that. That is there. God will give you all of that if you just seek him. Seek ye first but, the kingdom of God. But that kind of ties in. It's say people are influenced by the spirit. Uh, they fear of issues and they are controlled by others so they won't be hurt. There is a history of this thing, trauma, yeah, abuse. Yeah, yeah. It's a history of it. Yeah, people use their emotions and the things that have happened to them in the past to to be, to actually to to, to project a, a, their way of being on you and to make you feel like it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been through this. I've been through so much in my life. You don't know what I've been through. If you just walked in my shoes, you know what I've been through. But everyone has been through something. God has helped us all out in each of our own way, the best way that he can. You know, so we can't blame others for our downfall. We still got to understand that no matter what may happen in this world that, that is ruled by Satan, that God has already had everything in control and the battle has already been won. You know, as long as we're thinking like we have to try to achieve something, then we're in competition. Mm -hmm. We got to know that we know that we know that once we said, I do, Lord, I accept you in my life as Jesus is my Lord and Savior. It, that's, that's it. Now you got to do the footwork. Yes, now, if you don't believe that, then you got doubt. It's no sense of you even asking God for that. But when you say that, you got to know that you meant that and God got your back. And you got to go out and act like you already got it, even if you don't feel like you got it. We are in such a break free season hour yes. that when the alarm is being sounded what I believe in my heart with Pastor Lewis the trailblazer of her is if you hear me and understand I can help you out of this God was speaking to me as she was talking there's a time me. and now is the time yes, yes. yes. And there's a, even with myself I've, I've, I've accepted the call years ago the prophetic 2005 2006 even as a little girl knew I was peculiar different but when it came down to the church, when God began to open my eyes, show me things, I stayed quiet because it's something was on the inside of my spirit saying, now is not the time yet. He prepares a people to, to hear what is time, yes. but it's wisdom. Because see, I'm understanding the prophets now, the wisdom. That's right. If we don't have the wisdom now, how to handle this spirit, we could do something at a good thing at the wrong time. Yes, and yes. that's what he's saying. We have the prophets now got to be moved by wisdom yeah. of God and the spirit of Jesus Christ. Look at, because look Jesus at, did nothing. Look at John and John the Baptist in the <laughs> wilderness. Everybody was coming out to him and they was like, who are you? Who are you? And he was like, I'm just a, a voice in the, in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Just saying, make a way for the Lord. Yes. He's on his way, you know. And so they, he was like, what did you come to see? Did you come to see Martin Luther King or Malcolm X? Did you come to see T.D. Jakes? I'm just a person of here course. telling you that come God on. is real. He and made the way for you. Hey, that's it. Yes, that's now, if you, if you if you receive that, right. then that's great. Go out and believe and do what God tells you to do. If you can't wow. receive that, then that's, I'm sorry for you. Maybe it'll be the next person to be, be your motivation. As she was talking about the women in the church, I've, I've with the Lord allowing me, to be at different places at different times. And I asked him how to handle 
the prophetic intercession because you could be a prophet but know your gift as a prophet as well what he put on the inside of you and there's a weeping for the church we're at a time of birthing out of into so when the when when it's open and you stay you chose what you're still in there is a time of choosing and right now is the time. I don't have to stay under manipulation. Mm -hmm. I don't have to stay under Jezebel yeah, experience. Yeah. If I see it, I know it. How do I handle it? Mm -hmm. He that had an ear to hear, mm -hmm. let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord God is saying. God is telling people, come out. Yes. He told me, yes. come from the month, be you separately. Yes. Yeah, you, as a child, you did child this thing. Yes. As, a, as, a, as an adult or as a male, you know, you do things that, as an adult now. As you get older, you do things, you do away with the childish thing. You do, you start doing things as an adult. So you can't continue to do, if you were under a, a certain teaching or, or under a certain authority as far as a pastorship or a deaconship, now that you've got older, you're not grandma and you're not grandpa and uncle and auntie. Now you know that you know for yourself. Yes. What is right and what is wrong? What is real and what is fake? You don't have to stay in those churches. You don't have to be around those ministers. You don't have to be in those congregations. But I hear a lot of them say that God sent them. They're not going nowhere until God tell them, to God release them. Well, Come on. The now. Bible even said that he's, gonna, he's over here. He's over here. He said, but don't go. Many in those days are going to say, Come on, Betty. I, you know, Jesus over here. We got we got the word over here. Yeah, now, he really saying, moving over here in Tabernacle. Jacob St. St. Christian, brother. You no, know, every church think that he's moving over there. He's moving, yeah. He's over there. He's over here. Yeah, but, but I know the real from the But place. you don't have I to know. go nowhere because he's right here in you also. That's I ain't right. got to go across Texas to go to your church that's where right. you say Jesus is when he's right here in my heart. But a lot of people are falling man. I'm telling you, they yeah, are falling that's man. That's the thing. That's the, the thing. The prestige of Who everything. Who are you following? Yes. That's a Jezebel spirit. We're so caught up in being so. We're so caught up and want to be like everything we yes. see on social media, everything we see on TV. We want to be the next, the next model, the next football player, the next basketball player, the next TD Jakes, the next, the next big thing, the next best thing. And we forgot yeah. that God wants us to just be normal, be, be your life, simple self. The race is not given to the swimmer, to the swimmer, no. to one endure. He puts us in a place. He puts us in a lane. And if you're the one with the rope, mm -hmm. you take it to this church. You throw that rope. And as many want to grab it, grab hold. Yeah. And I hear my sis. I hear her. Because it's here and it's now. Yes. It's a when now. the alarm is sounding, she said, don't come out. What do we do next? That's when we've got to stand back and allow God say, God, the same God that delivered me out. Yes. Be it your will. Yes. Because it is. I was assigned to certain things and I had to go back. God, did you lead me or did I lead me? Mm. Sometimes we Ooh, gotta it's re, hard to re, it's hard revisit. when you have to check yourself on we that. We gotta earth. revisit Ooh. because if you are falling prey to the things that are going on, yes. you set yourself. That's mm. right. If you mm. losing That's your right. mind, yes. you yes. set That's yourself. Because God. God ain't gonna he give not, you nothing, put nothing on you. you that you are not able to stand or handle. It might buckle you at first, but he and he'll keep you per through the process. Yes. Oh, kind of your yes. shot. He's gonna make he will but, keep but, you But God through. don't want you to sit up under that. I, I don't care what nobody say. You're not supposed to sit up on a Jezebel spirit. No, 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 you're no, sitting no. there because you you're wanting that. something and you're looking for something, yes. But see, well, what what is that old saying? Uh, birds of a feather. They flock, flock together. together. That's right. That's you know? right. And some people, you gotta understand though, because we're carnal minded and we're just simple human beings. You know, we have a, You know, it takes a lot of us a, a, a minute to reach that pinnacle of of, of, of overstanding. Yeah. I'm you know speaking from experience. But a lot experience. of people don't have that understanding. They 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 uh, they just uh, they just go with the flow. I, I, my mama been going to this church for, for all her life. So she gonna go to that church. Then her kids gonna go to that church. And her kids' kids gonna go to that church. It don't matter what the preaching is because they not listening to the preaching. They just made it a ritual of going to this certain church. You know? Right. So they're not, it's not about the teacher. A lot of people I see in the church for 50 years, and I was growing up, I was a kid, and I see these same people sitting in the pews, and I'm like, Lord, if you really was reading the word, you should be preaching right now. You should have your own church, you know. So, But but a lot of people don't want, a lot of people feel like they don't want to be that. They don't want that jacket to be a minister. And he said, we are ministers. But no one wants to actually go out and talk. I even Moses was like, oh, I got a speech in the prayer, man. I can't even talk. Let my brother do it. He was like, do what I say, you know. Just do it. You know, you never know you never know what God is going to, how he's going to heal you and change you and bless you with, if you just listen and do what he says to you. How, when you came into the understanding, mm -hmm. 
the struggle? Was there a struggle for your release? How? It, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. So yeah. you understand it. That, that's why I say I'm talking from experience. Yeah. So when it comes to what this. would you say to the individuals? How do you, if they're willing to listen, how do you, how did you get out? You have to fast. Mm. You have to pray. You have Ooh. to be connected to God. Because what it was, God started showing me things in a dream. And that these same particular people tried to kill me mm. in the dream. And I start, the form and everything was there. And I started listening to God. He sent me back one while, but the women wouldn't listen to me. Because, see, he tried me. I'm talking about from experience. And he don't know right today if I'm a man or a woman. Because, see, I, I don't play those games. I'm sold out for God. But God told me, he said, get back. I'm about to pull the cover. God exposed them. That's what he did. But they're still running rampant now. I have been in and out there at churches. They're still running rampant. So, and I used to always say, what spirit are they operating out of? Because it's not the spirit of God. And I know the man of God tried me. Well, I, you know, I know what the guy say when the prop when the uh, yeah when they said Lord, yeah. what about these people over there? They're, pre they're uh, casting out demons and preaching in your name. Right, you you want us to kill them? Like, he, nah, but he said alone. not everyone that said Lord, Lord is going to enter into exactly. the kingdom. Exactly. Yeah, that's not for you to worry about. In your name? No, yeah, don't worry about, about those. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not worried about yeah. it. I'm saying I'm talking from my experience. Yes. I have to always say. You went back to hell. God sent me back to help the women. And then one and come before destruction, I have tried to tell the men as well. But it got to the point where they tried to shut me down. Mm. And that's see, remember, that's what do. Jezebel did to the prophets Prophet. back then. She yeah. tried to kill them all. Yeah. But it, was it Elijah? It, Elijah? Yeah. Elijah was the one that was her, 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 her the one she couldn't get. Mm. Yeah, he yeah, the one that still. Yeah. I think I think it was Elijah. I'm, I'm not for sure, but anyway, when we go back to that, it say that that Jezebel was destroyed back then. Mm -hmm. But now, when we go to the Book of Revelation, mm -hmm. we talk about the Church of Thyatira. Mm -hmm. That's where she has uh, shown herself again. Mm -hmm. But but the Spirit of the Lord said, "Don't tolerate these things." Yes. And they are tolerating, they are settling for what the men and women of God are doing in the churches. Because, you know, that's a that's that spirit. You mm -hmm. know, it, and then that goes ties into all the stuff that we're going on now in 2019, mm -hmm. going into 2020. Everything is a social media mm -hmm. world. Everything is sex and, and violence and right. shoot them up, bang, bang. People are not going to church for the word no more. They, People they are going not. to church to find a mate. A well, mate. And that's just that's the honest to God truth. If I could tell you how many brothers that have told me, man, I'm finna go to church. You go to church, boy, there be some fine sisters at the church. That's all on their mind. I used to hear that. That's mm -hmm. all on their mind. They're not worried about the word. What the pastor say? Oh, man, I went to sleep. Oh, man, I left before that. I had to go get me something to eat. Well, what are you going? Just to go see the women in the men. But let, let me share this, and I'm going to go back to what the woman of God was asking. It says, uh, she exercised, meaning him too, a supernatural, prophetic-like, mm. prophetic-like, mm. it's a ability that was energized by demonic power. Mm. That's why I used to always say, what spirit are they operating out mm. of? Because I know I'm a true prophet called by God, and Who I know what you? I'm seeing. That's Who right. I know what I'm seeing. What are you operating out of? Ooh. Yes, you got to get deep with this thing. Mm. Just because they're laying hands, you, you just quoted the yes, scripture just yes. then. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. That I've doesn't been seeing this all my life. I've been seeing it. I, I said this a lot. A lot of people are going to use a lot they of like They're yeah. going to speak loud. They're going to be winded, <laughs> huffing and puffing. Not it's going to sound real good. It's going to look a, a, elaborate but what are you getting out of it you know when she said fasting mm. when God sends you into a house mm. and that's what you give a leader and you know what God is saying because I experienced it mm. fasting and praying mm -hmm. has really saved my life yes mm -hmm. um even actually on this past week God told me I need you to go a certain many days and if I had them, my character would have been tested in a whole mm. other area. Right. You probably would have been getting me from those steroids. Do you know what? It, it, it kills your flesh. Yes. Do you know what fasting yes. is? It kills your flesh. God tells us to do without. Mm. We yeah. always want <laughs> everything. This God, give me. We pray for it. Lord, give me. God said you need to do without. Hey. Go in the closet and do without for it. Do without something for a while. Stop asking for everything. Stop thinking everything about you. Do without. Do without. Fast. No food. 
No water, no TV. You may drink some water, you know, don't kill yourself. Right. You know what I'm talking about? You got to take baby steps before you know what you're really doing. But do without. Mm -hmm. Do without television. Do without somebody talking to you on the phone and you're yes. with some drama. Do without the kid. Do without your husband. Do without the stress of the world. Get into you a silent place yes. and do without. So I can show you more me. Once you, once you can get rid of the world, then I can reveal myself to you. And those around you because... Sometimes we hold on to things, people, in places. Yes. And when God takes you on a fast, you can't. It, it limits. It, yes. it really. He cleanses everything. Your memory, all this stuff. That and you around had, you, it goes out. It shows you because you see the future. Says, mm -hmm. He shows you. More the people say, "Well, come on, can I take you to eat? Can oh, I do this?" I get everything. It, it I does like. a source of. It does a thing of elimination. Wow. Mm -hmm. I because your best like. friend. Wow. Walking with you every day could be the one God is saying, not this season. Uh -huh. yes. So if you fast, yes. I'm going to yes. show you that I, you. there's a disconnection. Because every Ooh. time I'm trying to talk to you, oh, your yeah. phone ringing, just because yes. you're saved and sanctified, that you yeah. put me to the yeah. side. Yeah. and you You're trying to, to please her because she's a mother or something. Because she has a word about my title. I'm God. I have I'm Alpha and Omega. Mm. <laughs> so what is it? And that's what God wants us to know. Realize who He is, yes. and we'll stop realizing the mess these people are doing. Yeah, because they ain't—they just little little droplets. More he can, little he can wipe his hand and, and take all that away. But everybody has to. We're here to go through these situations so we can become better people. More you know? right. And that, that's right. That we're here to go through this life and going through situations. This life is called situations. And we go through these different situations and obstacles to see what type of person we are. Right now, we're in the fire. Why do you think the sun is so hot? Ah, Jesus. He's melting it away. We're, we're really made of gold, man. We're just getting all the impurities out of us. And a lot of people don't understand that. He said, no matter how we try to beat it, when we come out, we're going to be pure as gold. You know, you're not going to have no, it's not going to be no tarnishment in you. There's no sin in heaven. And the only way you can go there is being pure. So if you're going to be a part of the streets, a part of the fencing, a part of the building, then you're going to have a place there. Whatever you're going to be, you're going to be pure there. And while we're here in this furnace, we're being purified. So look at it like that. Every obstacle and situation that you go through is just making you better and getting you closer to your heavenly home. Yeah. So back to the Jezebel spirit of Padnet. Is what I have seen, and it comes when I see a headship patting that spirit. Yeah, I, I realize oh, that it's the yes. Yes. and yes. and, oh. and it, it's. It, I say, okay, well, that's why it still can handle yes. you. But I'm believing that the headship can't kill what it wants to live. Mm -hmm. Let me let me let me add something to that. And you can finish talking. Amen. It says that the ta they target the headship, offers free assistance because they want protection. Mm. They hide from the leader's view, but manifest in front of others. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. Well, you know what they're saying. If you take the head, the heart, the horse, the, you take the head, the horse body, or follow something like that. So they go for the head and they hide within the within the congregation. Mm -hmm. They try to play little games. They 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 uh, uh, was it that kiss up to this person. Kiss up to that That's person. How they do. Uh, and then they sit back like they That's ain't doing nothing. As they soon just, as you yeah. turn your back. They, they, so, they they play the victim too now. They play the victim. Yeah, they they accuse falsely. This is what they do. Yes. They operate with insecurity. Mm. So the submission part of it, I was mm. thinking about that as I was driving. I've heard a lot of people saying you don't want to submit to this man or that man, blah, 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 so you carry the Jezebel spirit. And I I was like, you know what, well, God, it's so far from the truth. Right. Because my the submission, when you really understand that your submission is to the Father, yes. you yes. will submit to yes. what's of God. Yes. Because you submit do. to the God in him. If it's not godly, brother, I'm not submitting to none of that. You know what I'm talking because about? Because as a time, God will send us to help. Yes. yes. As prophets. Yes. 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 And that's my week. Yes. Because God said, I'm at a time, he's at a time having the prophets to dust their feet. Yes. yes. Because if you don't, yes. there's a destruction. Yes. Yes. Because yes. when God opened that door and say, you've done your time. Yes. Dust your feet. Yes. That's when you about to become their meat. They mm. finna devour you. Ooh. Because God is about to lift oh. himself away from you. Yes. So that's where unnecessary yes. fire oh comes from. That's from where you. we get that, that beat and we get in depression yes. mode. Because mm. as long as God is within he's not, us, he's, not he's, you. he's using, he's using <laughs> us and working through us, <laughs> we're not feeling the pain and we're not feeling exactly. the sorrow. But as soon as he go on to go do something else, we... Oh, yes, yes. Why are they coming at me like this? <laughs> what is and that spirit will tell 
telling you, oh, it's just to make you. Mm -hmm. The overseer keeps saying it's just yeah. to make you. Yeah. Uh, you ain't finished your process. Yeah. But that's the manipulation. That's the, manipulation. That's the control. That's right. that's because right. when you get into the house of God, when we get into the right house of God, we should be able to worship God in spirit yes. and truth. Yes. We should be able to hear when the yes. leader comes yes. that you, they're speaking you don't have life. To, you don't have, it shouldn't be no song or drum or guitar player got to get you worked up. You can hear the word of God and I, you should be ready to get when crunk. When I walk in, my sins walk by me no matter what. It's true love. Yeah. It's true compassion. It yeah, that's, that's, that's the church. That's, that's, what, that's, that's the what draws the people in. <laughs> That's what used to, that's the old school agape love. That's what when people came to the church and just saw everybody smiling and loving on Too each other. They didn't have to know nobody in the church. They just wanted to be there. That's the way it was yesterday. Yes. There was so much love in the church. Yes. I hadn't experienced that at all. Now I've been in churches. I walked everybody's in. Everybody's on all the women on one accord. Now I'm talking about some Woo. beautiful women. Now that's some church women you have. We were all on one accord yes. yesterday. I'm like, oh, none of this. Yeah. No competition. Yes. I mean, it was none of that. Everybody yes. was just yes. so loving to one another. Yes. That's how I can tell the spirits was real up yeah. in there. Yeah, because I've encountered uh, so many spirits. I'm like, now this is not real right here. Now, we, she called herself a prophet. What did she do? Well, that's the human in us. That's the human in us. You know, like the 13 disciples or the 12 disciples, I mean, you know, they 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 bickered with each other. They wanted to be better than the next one. Gee, who's better? Who You know, they had that. So we're workers and followers of Christ, too. We're going to have that because we're human. But no, what gets me, if you're a prophet, stay in the prophet category. Yes, Don't yes. say you're a prophet and you're a gossiper and you everything else. Oh. And then you want to get up and you say, uh, you heard the Lord say, or what thus said. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. See, no, wait a minute. Did you mm -hmm. hear your correction first? Mm -hmm. Get your correction together because we're not supposed to be gossipers. We're not supposed to be liars. We're not supposed to be all of this. Come on now. We see that's this remember, not supposed to be remember we were speaking us. about this uh, before when I told you like a so lot of these prophets so these days prophets. are are not prophets. That's right. God gives everyone discernment. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I can look at you and tell, oh, oh yeah, that's an alcoholic. Oh, that he's from that's drugs. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. Oh, you know, I can I got discernment, yes. but just because God gives you discernment, I, I can tell the real don't mean that you're a prophet. A lot of people get up to up, uh, a lot of people get up there, and God, if you're in the pulpit. You're gonna see everybody expression. You're gonna see everybody yeah, emotion. You're gonna feel. You if the, the, the piano hit a certain note and they uh oh, oh, oh you gonna you can you can know that's which way to manipulate the crowd. That's oh, that's sister, that's God it, told me. I said God that. told I said me that. that you you're going through right now, that. and you see this woman walking the door with a limp. Oh, he told me that knee gonna be all right. Yeah. God didn't tell you that's that. So do. why are you lying to that that's woman? Just because you saw something. Like that. That's that's fake, you know. And then when the people don't get healed. And they yeah. come into you and they looking up inside your head and you wonder why you're losing members. Because you were you had you weren't really prophesied. You know what I'm talking about? You just had a, a, a instinct or you thought you knew, you know, a and discernment. That's what they get me. When yeah. they, they get the prophesied and I know they and I'm like, they are not on point. I have yet to run across a few God, God don't about as long back it up with the word. In this, I have yet to run across a few. Mm -hmm. When you can read me my life for real. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm me. telling you, yeah. I can count on one hand, y'all. And that's why that I, I have ran across a real one. The no. Prophets, the mm -hmm. prophetic. We got to be careful yeah. when we call ourselves. Uh, if whatever, I never get into that because whatever God deals with a person, they privatize. They say once they tell me God, mm. I back up, but I did not discern yeah. because I need to know how I'm handling yes. what I'm handling, mm -hmm. and how He started showing me was my lifestyle of prayer. Mm. You know, on my face. Fasting and praying yes. is what opened my eyes to yes. see and have understanding. Now, the pastoral, the sharpening of my, my heart, the love, but with this Jezebel spirit, what he gave me as y'all was talking, how do you kill it? Everybody's mm -hmm. not ordained to kill it. Mm -hmm. It can kill you. Mm -hmm. Much so, prayer and fasting and, and, and listen to the direction of the Lord. That's what I did. I listened to his direction and, that's and what I took heed. And I believe you. I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you why. That's the end time that we're coming to. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares, if my people, mm -hmm. he been giving me that scripture for the last which six months, mm -hmm. which are called by my name, will humble and want to cry, do three things, humble themselves, seek my faith, and turn from that wicked way. He's going to do three things. Then, 
I hear from heaven. He's going to do three things. Forgive their sins and heal the land. So he's saying, and by the Holy Ghost, yes. this is how this thing is going to be killed. Because if Ahab it was blind when he married, oh my mm. God, I, the wife that he married, which brought a Jezebel mm. spirit, mm. Ahab eyes need to be reopened. Mm. So Jezebel can die mm. and the church can live. Mm. Mm. But she died, she died over a thousand years ago, uh -huh. but she's yeah. back now in back the book now. of Revelation and God said, don't tolerate don't it. Don't tolerate it's it. It's been tolerated today. Women are getting away with so much and in the church the too. Thing. It's not just the men, women are getting away with things that too. If you look at the social media, everything is about freakiness. Short shorts, booty clapping, I'll take your man, I'll do this. It ain't even, it's, you can't even listen to this type of music with a big mama no more. No, I'm like seriously. I'll be, I, my, it's like, what are you like? Like, dignified people will look at this stuff and be like, oh my God, well, they just turn to straight animals now. Like, we have a bestiality thinking of a mindset like Satan. The stuff that we see now is full of Satan all over, and the people yes. don't know it because they're so, they're so into it. They, they caught up in the buzz. They think this is now. Oh, and if you say something against it, oh, you lame. Or yeah, you, oh, you don't yeah. know what's up. No, yeah. I ain't lame. You just ain't been to church. You ain't been taught right. You ain't got no morals. Who, who raised you? Mm. You know, because you're allowing this type of stuff to go on like it's okay. And you don't realize that you got to keep living. You got to get older. You're going to have children. They're going to be looking at, you know, it's like no one understand why we keep repeating the same thing because mm. we keep teaching our children the same situation, the same stuff. If yeah, we would open the... <laughs> Oh, I get tickled with it. And we will open the door more for prayer mm -hmm. and open the door more yes. for the right things of God. We, yes. could, we could deal with what's going on. The depression and all dollars, stuff. It's after so much that's not of God. That. Too much idolatry. Mm -hmm. The purpose is not the purpose. Hey, my mm -hmm. God. The purpose is not the purpose anymore. Mm -hmm. So where is the true prayer center where you lay out before yes. God? If I, my heart has been God. Don't give me the keys till I'm ready for the mm. keys to the building. Yes, yes. Don't give me anything until I'm ready with a motive and pure yes, for souls. Yes. Because I believe who bewitched some of these people. Yes. You yes. started yes. off good. What happened? You ran. That's right. you, ran some, you came. I, you were hindered. You, yes, I, I understand it because I tried it. That's why I stepped back. I was like, Lord, I'm not. I can't be no pastor because you know, <laughs> little ugly me. <laughs> get to going out trying to minister and I had this I was on fire for God I mean ever since I was a little kid I would just get on the, just go to people I didn't even know I'm like God I said he, yeah. gonna, he gonna touch you and people just be lifted up and he was just sending me to do little weird I didn't know what the heck I was oh, doing man. I thought I was so crazy but it felt so good you know <laughs> so I just kept on doing it and you know and I, I was doing it so much, they would start calling me a little pastor, a little Martin Luther King, because my niece was MLK, you know. Oh, and I was just, and my grandma just had me sang in the church, and I was doing it, and then I was like, I always wanted to preach. And one day I got up there, you know, I was just messing around, I got up there to teach. And I started speaking, and I was like, you know what? This is not, this is too much. I don't want to feel like, I didn't want to feel like I'm trying to make them believe something. I just wanted God to speak to me, and I didn't feel that at the, it seemed like it was more me than it was him, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. And so, and I remember another time I was in there playing like I was preaching, and he actually hit me, and I got scared. I got scared. He showed me something, you know, so I was like, oh, I, like, I really felt something, you know, and it just really scared me, and I was like, wow, I ain't finna play with God. You know, if I'm not 100% serious about this, I am not finna play with him, yes. you know. And so what I did, I didn't want to, I wanted to preach, but I didn't want to get so deep into the word like that. Because I felt like the way the world was going right now, a lot of people wouldn't take me serious. But I know that I'm such a speaker that they won't have no choice but to, especially when I'm studying what I'm talking about, you know. But um, I didn't want to just be a, I didn't want to be a hindrance to no one. I felt like, Lord, if I can't help him, I don't want to be no one's downfall, exactly. Lord. Yes. I don't want to be no one. I don't want that on my belt. If I can't do it right, then don't allow me to do it. You exactly. know, and so and now I just sit back and I start learning it and wait till I get to the point to where I, you know, I can feel or it move me to say, okay, now, you know. Real leaders, I'm going to use myself. When God started dealing with me to minister, preach, teach, or whatever, the struggle, it's like I, rest, I would wrestle, you know, yeah. uh, and say, God, are you sure? Really? <laughs> you know, and see, my thing of it is when you do come out, nobody knows the struggle of the wrestling that brought you out. Because a true pastor, especially being a woman, you know, the blows and the hits that you get. And then when the women hit you, it hurts yeah. different because, hey, I'm struggling. Yeah. Come on now, sis. I'm trying to show you yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because the struggle is real. But see, women already have that company. 
competitive spirit. Yes. Now you know if you got this and this on the workplace, don't go, oh God? Oh now you But it's sad. You at your best. I'm gonna be God's girlfriend. I know I'm doing it. Like that's just that's how women think about it. I ain't never about God being God's girlfriend. No, nah, well, you know for real. Because well, if that's the okay, case, that's that be a good good battle. Well, you know, it's like we go we we're trying to see who, exactly <laughs> like we're gonna be battling for gonna, forever about like, this because I'm gonna be okay, okay. <laughs> And that's what we should understand. Yes, come on, we can do this together. I, I, yes. I look at a lot of them and you know when they have their programs and stuff, I'm like, okay, you, you ain't gotta let Pastor Lewis, that's fine with me. Yeah. But one thing about Pastor Lewis, she's not selfish and she will share her platform yeah. with other the women's. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. about you want to share. utilize as many Amen. people as God sent through to try to reach as many people because each one that He shows can teach someone or, t or touch no, somebody. No, but they, they, a lot of times, and, and this is inside ministry, they're scared that you're going to operate on your anointed, the anointed that God placed on you is going to operate a little bit heavy on you than them. That That's the fear that they have. Well, it shouldn't in matter. The, in the, but no, it's, but it's happening. It's, it's happening. Sad. I've been shut down so many times I don't care because I have my own platform. Wow. And that's why I bring other women's own. Yeah. But see, when any it's an interest. I've seen pastors actually fight over stuff like this, where you come up, you deliver a message, and it's good. Wow. And you come up and you deliver a message, and it's good. This guy just don't even, ain't even from your church line to come in there and blow the roof off. I'm talking about laying hand, people they falling like, out, they don't like that. and they mad. And they, but but that you can't you can't. Getting mad at what God has me doing and my style of preaching and my style of ministry and the way God is using me. Be happy with what you're doing and don't try to come up and do and, and fake it like you're doing this. Just be happy with what God had you at. Be you. And that's what's been we're on all, the We're all today. saving souls. No matter how elaborate it may look, we're all doing you'd be the work surprised. of God. A lot of these programs don't have nothing to do with saving souls. Well, I've, I've, yeah, I've learned that. I yeah. learned that a long time ago with the, yeah. with the mind. It's all, all about stuff, money. But. She said it earlier. You know, she, she said and, and, about, and, yeah. and, and God, he, that grieves him yes. when we are so competitive and yes. when we okay, go down the our father. Yes. Because we're bickering and we're yes. supposed to, we can't, we're too busy bickering Somebody that we can't even work. Watch. Right. You know, our families are struggling. Yeah. Our yeah. children are struggling. And we wonder why the world is the way yes. it is and we steady bickering about who who, who this person and we all supposed to be in the same team. Yeah, let's get so. her. No, don't get her. Let's get her. No, come on now. It's wake up time for yes. that. It, it really is. It really is. So mm -hmm. those that he, because there's, there's, a, there's a wake up and there's a raise up. But man, there's some that has said, kept, there's a wake Amen. up. I received that. Amen. Amen. There's yes. a wake up. Yes. <laughs> and yes. there's a raise up. Yes, yes. A yes. wake up and a raise up. Oh, wake up. Oh, wake up. Yes. 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 Thank you. When God, he said, I'm going to. All right, we're back. We're back. Good Amen. noise, ready Amen. to open this. All right, Prophet Lewis, we're going to start wrapping this up a little bit. What do you want to give us a, a conclusion of the Jezebel uh, situation that we're going through here? We pretty much uh, summed up everything. I just want the people to be watchful, the women of God, to stop. I, I pray that they stop being so gullible. Yeah, and just open their eyes and start praying and fasting. Yes. And, you know, just get in the face of God and stop being deceived. Yes. Because a lot of them are very, very deceived. And they need to get in a place with God and let God pull them out. Yeah. Because they can't come out unless God pull them out. You have to be pulled up out of this thing. God can snatch you up out of it. But you have to want it more than anything. And I understand that a lot of women are weak in this thing. But you have to. You have to get to a place uh, where God can deal with you. He'll deal with you wherever you are. But you have to want it. Will you want it? I'm, you know, God is speaking to my spirit. There's a strategic plan about to happen. Mm. Just, hey, just like the enemy came with hidden agendas to keep God chosen vessels blind. See, he said, even the elect yeah. will be deceived. Yeah. So the enemy came with a device to try, hear the word, try, yeah. God, I thank you, mm. to keep the chosen blind. Yeah. But God is saying as a strategic plan. Yes. Because he don't win. The enemy does not win. Yeah. And Jezebel is not of our father. Yeah. So it has to happen. Yeah. She said it in the book of Revelation that it's back for a purpose. Mm -hmm. God has given us the keys. Yeah. We overcome us. Yeah. So you had to go through it, Pastor Lewis. Yeah, I went through it. What is so joyful to me in my spirit 
is that God has not, he known me to walk through a lot of things. And I believe that gives me to understand that he sent me places. And you couldn't kill me. That's it. They because tried. I was sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the healing process has begun. Yeah. So when God speaks, I pray that the way our ears was opened, the way our heart has been softened to receive the truth of God, and our eyes to see what the blind is removed, that that's what happens in the body of Christ with our sisters. Yes. The first ministry God gave, I have to say, was sisters in unity for Christ. He didn't give me a church name first. He wanted me to first. I had four sisters. And I knew something was running rapid within us. You talked about it earlier, the family. Mm -hmm. There's always a competition sometimes in families with the sisters, the aunts, the mothers. Yeah. And it's been from years ago. Yeah. So he said now that it's a strategic plan. And I hear you Break want the generational curse. Fasting and prayer will make you yes. love the unlovable. Yes, yes, yes. And not pet the spirit. Yes, yes. Because you'll know which one to be. You got to know what to be and when to be. But it's through knowing his voice. Amen. And that's what God gave me. Amen. Ha. And that's what it takes. <laughs> fasting. Yes. It, it takes fasting. That's what it I takes. Believe that. Much, much fasting to get away from that. And they tried to destroy me. They tried to kill me. And it took a toll. It took a toll. And it goes back to when Jezebel was trying to kill the prophets once again and how Obadiah had to hide him in the cave. Yeah, yeah it, it, it makes me think about a lot of the prophets are still in the cave. It's time to come out. It's, it's time, it's time, time to wake up and bring up. Yes. I think that we could take from today's show, you know, uh, about the Jezebel spirit running rampant is that if we put on the full armor of God. Yes. Then we don't we can resist all those fiery darts and temptations that they throw at us that they try to pull us in with and keep us in bondage with. Because the, the word did say that it's going to be running rampant right now around this time to deceive and draw wind away from God. To let to make you feel like God don't even exist, mm. and if it, and if he and even the elect, yes. wow. even the elect, mm -hmm. even the people that God has chosen to be at the top and to help others will be fooled and deceived. So we have to be keep that in mind and be mindful of that at all times. You know that we we are in this battle for real, and, we, and the battle has already been won, but we are still fighting. fighting. So don't let your guards down. Don't let things get you down. And always remember, as long as God got you covered, can't nothing bother you. Amen. 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 As long as God got you covered. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ain't Amen. Nobody. Amen. We had a wonderful show today. Would you like to say, uh, give some shots out to any churches and pastors out there? Oh, um, yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to a shout out to O'Shara. Amen. Awesome young lady. I, I love her. Such a beautiful spirit. Amen. She just took me in and just welcomed me in. And that's what I love about the real women of God. And that's why I say I, I know real prophets when I see them because it's like Mary and Elizabeth. You know, when I come <laughs> up on you, hey, these babies should be leaving. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, another shout out to my brother Dwight. Amen. Amen. Uh, your sister love you. Amen. I, I really don't know um, Apostle Warren. Amen. Amen. I, I perceive him to be a, a nice pastor. Amen. I haven't, you know, just been around him much, but the little time that I have been around, amen, he seems to be a pretty nice pastor. Amen. 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 Other than that, um, Adrian uh, Willis out of, out of Louisiana, I, I just love her. She has such a beautiful uh, spirit. Amen. Hey. You, my, you know what? I know my grandson can't listen, but that is my hero. My <laughs> good hero. Hey, That's hey, my hey, wife. Hey. My daughter, Janitra uh, Starling. Just a shout out to her, my family. Um, in the midst of God restoring it, my sisters, I have five uh, sisters. Uh, Catrice, Katrina, they are twins. I even under, shout out to them, my baby sister, Stacy, And just my BIM family. You know, God is doing a new thing, and I know this is going to spring forth. The woman of God already said, I apostle. Yes. I just believe that every pastor out there that may hear this, a shout out to you as you yes. get understanding yes. of how so your church can be leaders. restored. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, those that are walking up right for real. I'm yes. just going to keep it real. Yes. Yes. Shout out to you. Amen. Because this, this, this is hard. It's not, yeah. it's not easy. It's yes. hard. It's get a back hard in position. Task. I can yes. say that to a lot of That's us. Get right. back That's in position. Right. Because God yeah. is saying, get back in position. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, I love what I do. Amen. Yeah. And and we do. We have to love God more than anything. Amen. Stay focused on the task. Oh, Sarah Ingram. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. 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 Hi. Hi. 
Oh, I'm like, well, yeah. And see, that's the only thing about it. When you start giving shout outs, you forget people. The name. Uh, yeah. That's why you have to be like some of the other ones bring a list so you don't forget yeah, nobody. Yes. And my, my first family. Husband, you're listening. Amen. You're not somewhere. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I know that's right. With I know that, that's right. With that being said, we here at Good Noise Radio. <laughs> We, wish, we would like to wish all you guys a, a, a wonderful, well, we wish you have a, a rest of the wonderful day for the rest of the day. Don't and cut that out. I'm to shout out to my family. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I just I want them to know that they can always tune in to Good Noise Radio 24 hours a day. Uh, just uh, tune in uh, by going to www.illnoiseent.com. Scroll down till you see Good Noise Radio in red lettering and just click on it and you can chill with Prophet Schools. Amen. Amen. Last but not least, my Aunt Kim, Renee, Deborah, all Amen. of you, Mimi, Priscilla, just my family. Amen. They are so loving. Amen. And they're there for me whenever I need them. Amen. So I just thank God for my family. Everybody, yes. everybody can't say that. Yeah, I can truly say that I thank God for my family. Amen. Amen. There was a Tamika Hope, one of my daughters, way in Tascaloosa. I always <laughs> mess it up. Tascaloosa, Alabama. God bless you and love you. Keep running for God. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, man of God. Amen. Well, well let the church say amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to leave you here with Donnie McClough, McClough and Great is Your Mercy. Yes. Yeah, we got, we got. Oh, you got to cut that out.